Yeah, man. You got me? You Can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on, bro? What's going on, bro, Ham? Been trying to get at you for a hot minute. Ever since I stopped oh. up, ever since I stopped up in uh Tennessee at that Loves man, and you showed me that you showed me that bump in the back. I've been trying to get at you for a little bit, bro. Trying to get you on the podcast. What's going on, man? Oh man, love much, man. I gotta uh we get back on there and apologize to everybody, man. A lot of people been hitting me up, man, but I'm kind of new to YouTube, man. I didn't even know you can send somebody a message on YouTube, man. So man, you you, you uh, ain't you ain't you ain't new to this, man. You got you got so many you you got so many videos, man. You ain't new to this. Let me go ahead and start this podcast, man. What's up, everybody? Lockout men in the building. Yo, this man. This, you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm. I'm not even gonna say. I, I'm just gonna let. I'm. I'm gonna bring up one of his videos because y'all seen me. I did a video, but I only had a picture. See what I should have did? I should have pulled this man to the side and hollered at him when I got the chance. But I'm glad he's here now. Check. Check out this video right quick. What's that? I can. <laughs> well, that's my next thing. I build this over the road, man. I, it, it, this is fairly new. I tear it down every year. Uh -huh. Build something different. So I ain't did well, the next. Build road, build I, yeah, I build it in. I build it on the road. Stuff away on my page. There it is. Ass, uh, there it is. There it is. I would like to bring on my man, Basin Trucking. What's going on, my brother? Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were going to pop me up like that. Yeah. OG, yeah. yeah, OG. <laughs> yeah, I had to, man. <laughs> Every time you every time you stop, man, you stop and turn some heads, man. You stop and turn some serious heads, man. Let yo, Basin man, I want you to introduce yourself. Let these people know who you are and where you come from, bro. Oh man, let me see. They call me old, but I'm still Western Houston, man. I always been in the music, but uh I kind of just check out the market, you know, see what was going on. Everybody was stretching the truck side and doing the fancy paint jobs and all that. I said, uh, I want to do something a little different, man, you know. So I thought about it. I said, you know what, I used to build a little small system. Let me see how big I can go. So that's how I started four years ago. And, in fact, I didn't even put it on the Internet or friend of mine put it on there, you know, just something I was just doing from a little hobby. A friend of mine put it on there, and then he said, hey, man, look at these people responding to what you're doing. So, okay, so I, so I went and had my daughter set me up a little Facebook page and uh, kind of just took over from there. And uh, every year I just tear it down and do something different. Cause as I'm riding and listening to it, I said, I think I might can do it a little better. So this one this is my last one. It's Hold, fairly new. Uh, hold, hold up, man. Let let me stop you right there. Huh? Let me stop you right there. You didn't you you just said Texas. You said you from Texas. Huh? You said you from Texas. You from Houston? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm from well I'm from Brookshire, Texas, but at the high school, I moved to Houston. Man, been there since. Man, come on. Tell, tell tell me uh tell me how it was back in Houston, man. How 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 was it coming up in Houston, man? Oh man, you know, I I, I, I you know, just the average person used to hang out in the wards and uh just do my little thing. I used to and I never was a party guy, but I used to go to the clubs to shoot pool. You know, we used to gamble on the pool table, do mm -hmm. a little here and there, a little friendly game. A little one two. But other yeah, yeah, just one, two, and, uh, you know, a couple of friends passed away, so I kind of started doing that, and I just, you know, been staying out of trouble, you know what I mean? Jumped in this truck and 
found me something to entertain myself so I won't get in trouble out there on this road. And it's been going pretty good for me, man. Uh, actually, I'm ahead of my schedule right now for uh, my my journey is concerned. Okay, I'm okay. Blessed, All right. So, yeah, so yeah. back, so down in Houston, Texas, man, and and I I, I see I, I see the bumps, man. So. I, I see the bump, so I'm 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 gonna have to assume that you you was down with uh with screw music back in the day, or are are you still down with uh, it? Yeah, man, that's the legend right there. That's the man, you know. If you ain't got that, that slow down music, you know, in your car somewhere. But not it's not in the car now. It's all on the USB drives and mm-hmm. all that stuff. But you know, uh. Uh, it's still still people out here trying to keep that legend going on. The screw, yeah, with the, we got the swingers out here, man. You, you know, it's uh, it's not a lot of youngsters taking over that area for us. You know, kind of keeping things going. You know, we we out here trying to get the grind grind on to pay these bills and everything. But the youngsters holding it down pretty good, man. I, I mean, I love going to the spots where the youngsters there with the elbows and swingers. They out there jamming the screw, popping the trunks, and you know. Uh, I pull up on the scene and, and uh, you you know, pull, turn heads like you, you say. <laughs> you pull up, they gotta, they gotta make a little room for me. You know, they gotta make a little you, room for me to see, get in there. You like. pull up, you pull up on the scene. You turn more than heads, bruh. You shake, <laughs> man. You be boom shaking the fucking room. That's what you be doing, man. So where where yeah, ba- yeah. basin, yeah. man? Where where did it all start, man? I mean, take take me back to the beginning where you. Where you, where you had the thought of just just putting it together in your truck? Oh, you! I, I can't hear you. Years, years oh, there ago. you go. There you go. That's back when I was back and running with Lance Star years ago, man. And uh, I actually was running up there to the army base, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. I went into Walmart, and they had a TV in there. Uh, you know, they had TVs on clearance, you know, big old 55 inch or whatever, something like that. And I bought it. They would put that in my guest room. Mm-hmm. And I stayed up there a little longer than what I was planning on it. And so the TV was actually in my way. So that's how it all got started. The TV was in my way. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to Home Depot and get to work. And I bought, built me a little bracket and hung it from a top bunk, mm-hmm. you know. So when I let the top bunk down, the TV was right behind my, my seat. Oh, okay. And then, so I said, hold on, let me plug plug this up. So I plugged it up to the power inverter. Now I'm going down the freeway, and it's looking like a theater coming in. You know? <laughs> and, 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 and people people was turning around, you know. They were turning around to see what the heck was this in my truck, oh. you know. So, uh, so I, I, I said, oh, okay. So people like stuff different. Right. That's how it all started all right there, you know. And it just kind of it kind of grew from there, man. Now, uh, now you said in the video, the the video that I that I just played, you say you 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 switch it up every year. So what's what's the switch up, man? I mean, how can you what you started what, with 12s and then went to 15s and then went to 20s? What's was what what's well, what uh, was the evolution? What was the evolution well, from what it was to what it is now? Actually, to be honest with you, you know, uh, they uh, uh, it it actually wasn't even supposed to be this. It, it actually was supposed to be uh, this uh, interior thing that I was building, uh, which was like with the TV. The shoes in the basement should have been TV, man. But when I put the little speakers in there, just to have something a surround sound, and then like I said, my friend posted on the internet. People started criticizing, telling me what I can't do. Mm. Okay, that's how it all uh, uh, turned yeah. into what I exactly. When yeah, when so motherfuckers tell, tell you oh, what man, you can't, you, you, what you can't do, yeah, you're gonna let them know that, what you can do. Yeah. That's the motivation right there. Man, man, you tell just, you tell them man, they telling just, you they telling you what you can't do. Man, bump all that, man. You you, you showing these cats man, what you can do. I didn't even know. I don't even know what I can't do. So what? So, you know. So, but then you know, like I tell people, man, uh, don't be mad at your haters because they're your motivators. You know. So I always keep my cool when they coming at me. You know, 
nobody was able to get me out of my character. You know, that's why a lot of people follow me too because that character is that, you know. Uh, so uh, wherever the truck's lacking, I pick up. Wherever I'm lacking, my truck pick up. So we just like a little couple, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, well, now that's why that's that's the whole goal. When I tear down, like I say, because I'm still learning, you know. And I went from uh, 14, 12 in there in prefab boxes, which is boxes you just go buy at any flea market, right? To start building my own system. So that's what I do. I go to Home Depots across the country. I stop at anywhere I can, and I get my my drill, my saws, and boy, I get to work, man. Uh, people be passing by me like, man, what is that cat doing? You know. And then you have, like, yeah, and then you have to show them right quick. Let me, let me, let me, let me play this. Let me, let me play this one video right quick. Hold on, right quick. Look, look at that. Look. Shaking the steering wheel. Look at that shit. Uh, hold on, he he po- you posted up at what's what's that? Uh, look like a mom and pop's truck stop. Look at it. That's how that that's how you do it. That's how you do it, man. He comes up to the spot. He posts up. Turn up that volume right quick and get everybody. I'm talking everybody because I'm on the side of them like, God damn it, man. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's definitely is an overkill, you know, it's overkill. But <laughs> yeah. that's, what, that's what people, people they, they look for stuff that's not normal, you know. And, mm-hmm. and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ever be, when it comes to this, I'm not gonna help people. Just like I was telling a friend of mine, you know, you feel you your truck, you know, you make it pretty, stretch it out, put paint on there, spend sixty thousand dollars in there, and then you pull up at your buddy house, and then he gonna say, "Hey, that's that's such and such. Man, you got a bad truck." And then by three three months later, they not interested in that no more. See, I, I didn't want that. I wanted some every time I pull up. Somebody's gonna say, "Man, let me check it out," you know. So that's what motivated me to seek outside the box. I could easily when it dropped off and had a stretch out and all this, mm-hmm. but that's that's not me, you know. I, I want to give something to people where they're gonna smile and take with them. And that's you know? and that's exactly and what you're doing, man. Let me let me play let me play this video right quick. This one right here, this video right here is uh says my black sister's hair was much heavier. Let me let me play this one right quick, man. <laughs> this one this one was funny. This one was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, here, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, she say, she say, what the hell? <laughs> So, so you started yes. so you uh so you started trucking when 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 did you uh when did you start trucking man and how how did you come across your license oh man so i've been out there 20 years man I, I was working at a warehouse and most most of the truck drivers start out that way we know somebody in the family or friends but or we was just working around the truck mm-hmm. and we're seeing hey man you know i'm over here sweating Bullet, and you just watching me unload this truck. What's going on? How much you making? So that's basically how I started with the, 
I said, you, you make it what? Yeah, you watching me? I said, oh, man. So, you know, when I went and got my CD license, they say, you know, family members started following me. Okay, well, I'm going to get my CD license, too, you know? So it's just kind of like a inspirational thing, you know, we, we coming from a close-knit family. So that's that, and that's, that's basically how it started out for me, man. And pretty much went traded for them in the world, but don't get to the point where I, I want to, I don't want to pull a load and still get paid. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll okay. Be the first person riding around Bob Taylor and get paid. And get paid. Now you <laughs> now, now you say you uh started in the joint. Uh you you started this joint twenty years ago, man. How how was it how, how was it driving? What twenty years ago was like what when when did you start? Like two thousand? Well yeah, it gotta be gotta be two thousand, right? Yeah. Because this is twenty twenty right now, right? Yeah. So how how was it yeah, yeah, how uh, how was it coming in the game for you like you know what was your inspiration other than the family well no let me rephrase that because you 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 already said what was your inspiration my fault my fault what was uh what did you go through uh to obtain your license so did you did you go to a school did you go to a company how how I, did you get your I license went, I went uh, a lot of people asked me that I got a lot of young that follow me that that want to get out of the gang banging and getting get they truck looking like mine so i tell them man the best way to do it is the way that i got it it's, 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 it's still the old school way mm -hmm. go to go to a, a institute that will, will, will train you or like a statement like you know uh the companies have establishments that what they pay people mm -hmm. to train their students and once they finish course successfully then they hire them. right right and that's what i did there you stay uh, you uh, make sure you read the contract some of them is a year or whatever it may say but stay there uh to your term is uh satisfied and you're free to go or you can continue to work where you're at that way you got your you know uh, permanent, well, not permanent, but you have your for sure job. They got these quick places where they call CD and express. You know, and people go there. I'm not down it, but that's just like if I got my truck and I just bought another truck mm -hmm. for that, that purpose only, I tell a friend, go get your license. I train you, and then I can hire you okay. with no experience. Okay. Most people are looking for experience. So. That's the best way to go about doing it. I recommend that very highly. Uh, and it, it's going to be rough at first. Right. It, it's going to be rough now because of the electronic laws kicked in. You know, it slow your money down. Mm -hmm, so, but mm -hmm. I'm doing flatbed now. Uh, rate is pretty good where I'm at. So, uh, so, so, yeah, Basin, man, you, 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 you're, you're on our op right now? You, you're on our op? I, I, I've been on operator now for about 10 years. I can't, the only thing I do is say, well, well, longer than that. Let me take that back. Uh, only, only was a company driver, maybe three or four years. After that, I had my truck on the truck. All right. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm, gl I'm glad that you, that you, uh, mentioned that you was on or out, man, because I had a, I had a comment this morning from one of my subscribers. And he was asking me because I, I couldn't answer it because I'm a I'm a you know, I'm a company driver. But uh, he was asking me right. what was what was the trend? How was the transition between owner op or transitioning from a company driver to an owner operator? How can you explain uh, how, how was the transition was for you from from company driver to owner op and the route that you took to get there? Well, oh. Well, that was the transition from a uh, company driver to an operator. It's pretty simple, you know, uh, depending on what company you're with. Because uh, you just basically, either you can get in a truck with money, no money down, or you can either pay your fees up front. But either way it goes, the truck is not going to be yours until, you know, you completed the terms conditions of your contract but uh being an own operator independent own operator is a little complicated because you're gonna have to file for your own permits and get your own insurance so that is a little bit more different uh but when you come in from a company 
within the company, if you're coming from a company driver to an own operator, which is a lot of places providing an option now, that's pretty simple. You know, and that is, is the more effective way to get your truck. You can get your truck with minimum amount of money down. In fact, some is no money down. At the end, you might have to have a blue payment, which is maybe $15,000 to pay off your truck, uh, and then the truck is yours. See, so that's pretty much is 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 is, is the more effective way to do it. All right. Because so- right now the economy is kind of hurt, you know, freight, you know. So you go out there, buy your truck now, you better make sure you do all your homework because it a month, trucking is, is a lot of money in the trucking, but it's also a big hole. You got to know how to stay out of that hole. If not, uh, sometimes you don't, you, you just can't climb out of that hole and kind of sell your business, which is your truck. Okay, okay. All right, so... <clears throat> So back, all right. So, so owner operating man, as you as you said, it's 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 not simple. You gotta you gotta do your homework. You gotta do your research and everything. Would Definitely. you would you suggest Definitely. would you suggest any of the new jacks that's coming into the game right now? Would you suggest them to go owner operated, or would you want them to like? You know, wait. How how long do you think the the transition should be? Should it be right when they come into the game? A year, two years? How how long the transition you think? Well, it, it's really no no limit on it. It all depends on the on the individual. But most of them that hop into it just off the bat, most of them the fold up because they really, you know, it, it, you know, you look, looking at the money side of it, and that'll get you in trouble. But you got to look at, you know, the breakdowns. You got to look at, <clears throat> you know, the DOT audits. A lot of stuff you got to look at. So I, I would say if you not uh, don't have knowledge about trucking, definitely don't go out there and buy your truck. <laughs> I would say go out there and uh, uh, get with a company, you know, stay with them a year. You know, then get into one of the lease programs. That way you go on the, if you tear the truck up, which is, you know, stuff happens. You know, you really don't know about trucking, you know. You, you know, you tap a clutch, you can tap a differential, and those things cost you, just like my truck. Which I just got my truck out of shop 10 grand. See, if you don't got that money sitting to the side, then what are you going to do? That truck will be sitting in the shop. The next day, they know they put a lien on it so, mm. and sell it out for scraps. So that's 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 and leave you know, you and leave you know what you're and and leave you high and dry. They will leave you high and dry. You know, definitely, definitely, because once you buy a truck and then they put a lien on it, you still responsible for that balance you owe. Wow! And even you know, even so. if they sell the truck. For scraps, you you still responsible for the main payment of the truck? Well, see the the they'll they'll work out a deal with the finance company. Okay. You know, uh, you know it's legal process through that, but once the once the the, the uh, deal is made, they send them the titles, but they still gonna they ain't gonna let you off the hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know. Okay. Yeah, they still gonna have you on there. You know, you still. That's just like if you had a car and you can't pay for it and the mechanic put a lien hole on it, you know, they got to go through the bank. I mean, the finance company where you're buying it from, get get that worked out. If They're going to they gonna basically get a finance company the same option you got. Okay, you got a certain minute, certain minute a day to come and get your car. If not, mm-hmm. then, you know, they, they they can walk away with <laughs> with a clean title either way it goes. You know? Wow. That's crazy right yeah, there, man. Yeah. Well, what's been going on with you, brother? You know, what's been going on? Everything going good with you? I'll be checking you out. You, you, you doing good things, man. I like to see when people do stuff. You know what I mean? Hey, I, I, I appreciate the sentiment, man. I appreciate the sentiment. Thank you very much, man. Uh, <clears throat> Basin, man, will you be pulling up, man? Well, you be pulling up in these spots. I seen the one. I, I I seen this one video. Uh, I can't find it, but I seen the one video that you pulled up in the spot, and the cops actually came over. Have you been in a situation that you pulled up, and 
Now these particular cops was cool, but have you been in a situation that you pulled up where where some cops was kind of like give you some issues? Oh yeah, I had one that almost went viral. Can you still hear me on this? I didn't hear. You. I, I can hear you. Wait, 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 wait. It's it's cracking a little bit. Hold on a second. All right. Yeah, I had I had an incident. Uh, that one almost went viral over it for a second. I was going through South Carolina jamming, and a uh, total piece pulled me over. Hold on, you got a video of that? I really didn't. I got a video. Yeah, yo, I I, hold, I didn't actually. Hold on, what's uh put the camera? I didn't actually put the camera on the officer. And I sit the camera down. All right, what's and, what's uh, what's the name of the video? You know the name well, of it? Man, I'm blind, I got some videos. Oh, man, <laughs> that's I what got, I'm saying. You got <laughs> all right, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you got so many. You, uh, ooh, you got so many. That's why I said you're man, you're a fucking uh, shit. With with the only person, the only the only right. semi person that I the only semi person that I seen with with base in his fucking truck. You you're a damn near legend, bro. Uh, I found the one video. Was it? It's not the Baltimore one, is it? No, that that was the one. No, that was the no, one. No, no. no, that was the one that that they were speechless. So that they were, they were showing, yeah, they that was, they were showing me love. Yeah, they were showing you love on that one. Uh, this, this, it was uh, this, uh, man, I don't know. It was probably maybe a year ago when this happened, man. Uh, in, in fact, I don't be knowing. I you know actually just post them and really kind of kind of forget about them, and then somebody <laughs> attack me into it, and I just be cracking up laughing, you know. Right. Because I got so many, man. I probably got thousands of videos out there. It, it, it's just a oh man, the num- numbers mind blowing. But yeah, I was riding through this city, man. Mm-hmm. And I was really getting down. I was hammering it on that, man. And I kind of got on the outskirts of the city, and I mm-hmm. seen the the officer. Lights on behind me. Okay. And, you know, I know I was speed. Right. I said, oh, boy, he's going to get somebody. Right. You know, that's what I was seeing in the video. I said, he's going to get somebody, man, and he pulled up on behind me. Uh-huh. I said, oh, man, he, he got me. So I pulled over, and then uh, he had, he said, well, there's you with the loud music. And I was speechless, you know. Uh, that's my first time I ever got pulled over with the loud music, yeah. you know. And, uh, yeah. So uh, he said, he, he said, you know, that's a $1,000 chicken, huh? What? I said, Thousand dollar ticket, yeah, you know, thousand dollar ticket in South Carolina, baby. It's a thousand dollars. And then what? Is it? And he said, hey, "You better get it too." What? Right, oh, right. said, stop! Let me, let me see your license. So uh, I went to go reach out to give him a license, uh, and uh, uh-huh. uh, he and, and he had got a call. He had got a. I don't know. I made a joke about it after he left. I said he got a seven thirty two forty seven call or something, but he had to leave. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, that, it must have been must have been a uh, must have been a serious ass call. What, what's the code for yeah, that? They need all the police. It's a code for that shit. Um, it, it, it's a code, and I just made up one because I, right. I don't know the code. But he had he had actually jogged on the side of my truck to get back into his squad car. Oh, now shit. when he was leaving, I did give him a phone and. For a split second, you seen him leaving out of my mirror, you know. So okay. So people were saying, "Oh man, that was that was you on there playing double voice person." I, I said, "Brother, I'm too old to be playing like that." You know. I hear you. <laughs> Base. I said, and then so I had to, I had to basically tell him to go to this certain amount of minutes a second. And you'll see that police car leaving from behind. My wow! Truck. I I, so, yeah, I, was, I gotta I gotta go that, back. That was, that was that was a close. I gotta go back in the. I gotta go back and check that out right quick. But I I got my my thing was the dude actually pulled you over for loud music for 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 yeah. And, and you're yeah, on the he, highway, right. like you wasn't speeding. No 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 no. Oh no no! I went on the highway. No 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 no! I was I was ripping this city up, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was ripping this thing, man. I had people all coming out of the stores. I mean, I, just, I mean, everybody was stopping and looking. I really was laying down, laying down. But see, me personally, I really don't know how far this thing travels. You know, right. It really can echo, you know, with, with that with that cone space, what they call. So I just see the police. So the police probably was maybe inside of one of these buildings, and this, that thing just got to shake. Because I really do shake. Shake, shake the windows in some of these places. He came out, yeah. But I, you know what? To be honest with you, one that's really uh, get me is the one that's over there in Jackson, Mississippi. I give DOT officers 
uh, demos too. You know, they right, cool. Right. I pulled over that Jackson, Mississippi, and this young guy, I don't know if you've seen that, was about 20, 26 years old, youngest one on the court. Mm-hmm. I gave him a demo, and he said, and I, my system wasn't completed then. And I gave him a kind of a partial demo of what I had. He said, when you finish, come back over here. I want to check this out because he liked this. Too. <laughs> we kind of hit it off. Right? But look, this is the sad part about it. Now, mm-hmm. when I left that morning, one of my followers inboxed me. He said, you know that police that you video lost his life in the line of duty what? that same day. And I'm like, no, you kidding me. So I Googled it. Before I posted on my page, I Googled it, and it actually he lost control of this sport, his uh, police car, ran into an 18 wheeler, and, and he died. Man, hold up, hold, so hold I up, posted that on- hold up, Basin. Is is it this one right here? I'm I'm seeing one. It says "May DOT Officer Cry in Demo." Is that it? That's it. That's oh, hold, the, that's the hold on, right quick. Hold on, I'm br- I'm bringing it up now. Hold on. The low lot by Future. No, I'm gonna let you put it in there. This the this the DOT officer right here? Yeah, that's him. Woo! <laughs> He's looking at that like, whoa. Oh my oh my god. So this was the this was the DOT officer that, that lost his life? That same day. The same day? That same day. What yeah, do you still later on he was going home? I do guess. you still huh? do you do you still remember his name? Get it? I believe it is, but I stopped by there every time I could go by there because I, you know, I'm followed by a lot of people. So I uh, saw somebody shared it with his family. Wow! And I seen the comments, and they were saying that, uh, yes, he did love music, you know. So <sighs> that was that was that was pretty touching for me, right there. You wow! Know? He was a, that's young guy. And, yeah, he and was. He... We talked for about forty-five minutes. Yeah. And you know, but, and if you can do something, and if you can do something like that, basic man, that that you you know that you just pull up and and just you know just just bring a smile to people, you know what I'm saying, or just or or just you know just that that's what you do. That's what you do, man. That's what you do. That's woo. That's, that's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. that is uh that I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of yeah. speechless after that man. I wow. Wow. Well, let me ask you. Yeah, I was I was blown with you. Yeah, let me ahead. ask you this man since she was talking about uh about how you know how some DLT officers and some officers, you know, they 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 cool with what you doing and and others, you know, they try to, you know, try to take a take a second back on what you doing. Who 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 in trucking though, for real for real? Who in trucking pushes your buttons the most though uh for as for as what far as far as like you know, d uh, like dot uh oh like you know like far as the industry yeah far as the industry yes the yes far as the industry i i guess the brokers are pro- the brokers probably the most uh those those the guys who would 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 get you right there because they uh they sit behind the desk and uh, take half your money. <laughs> you say take half. <laughs> you know? you say- oh yeah, man. Those guys is, 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 a, is, a, is a killer, man. How do you do you do you choose your you you choose your own lows, right? You you look for a low you you on a low board or something like that. Well, yeah. Uh, not not with the company I'm with now, because uh, they got good connections. But uh, I I did that plenty of times. It got established with a lot of good brokers. Uh, but like I say now, brother, the industry is uh 
just being hurt by these guys, you know. Mm-hmm. And and e- even here, I brought I brought a lot of uh, uh, brokers that I know to this company here, but this company is self dispatch. They hire, I mean, they hire outside services. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that when I told them that I was going to, you know, book my own load, I, I did that. And I had to relay the information to my dispatchers. And they said, well, I see this load on the board, but we can get you $500 more. I did that twice, you know. And after the second time, I said, you know what? You got to you gotta really be involved in this to really see who's getting you for what. So mm-hmm. I said, you know, I put, you know I'm going to go ahead and let you guys do the dispatch. Because if you guys can give me more money, uh, that's great. So, and it's been working like this now for two years. I've been over here about two. Years. Oh, okay, I was just about. See, I was just about to ask you. I was. I was just about to ask you how long you've been working for this company. I've been working for two years. Now, let me show you, tell you something about over here, man. I've never been close to somebody as an owner. I have been with well, most places I go to. I can go back. I don't burn my bridges down. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I've been close to a lot of owners. This owner over here, this guy here is, is, <laughs> is really, really a cool guy. You know, we became, man, we like brothers now. You know, he, back, he sponsored my last deal. Uh, he bought shirts for the Basin Semi, the whole nine yards. But let me tell you this. Uh, because of my popularity, this guy went from an owner operator mm-hmm. to now he got about 25 trucks because. I recommend people to come here because I've been here and I don't fabricate the truth. Lay a lot of people try to test me on the line on on social media, but I started putting proof out there. And really, this you can do when you're seeing proof. You know, I started putting how much your load is paying. Mm-hmm. You know, it's called rate confirmation. Mm-hmm. I started putting that on there, mm-hmm. and the guy how much he charged. Uh, percentage for you to run up under his own art. So when you get your truck, if you lease on to somebody, you need to know how much they're going to charge you to run up under their authority. Okay. Which is very important. You know, so uh, he charged 88%, which is kind of unheard of. You know, most of the people like, you know, Landstar, I was there for like five years, they charged uh, 35%. You talking about uh, 12% versus 35%, that's the big difference in what you want to see your bank account. So anyway, that's how, that's, that's how this guy is starting to grow. Uh, and uh, he know what I'm trying to do. He's not trying to hinder me, and I know what he's trying to do. So we both helping each other, you know. Uh, so, that's, yeah. That's, you know I mean? that's what's up, man. That's, do, let me let, yeah, let me let me yeah, let me it, let me get into this video right here, man. The name of this video right here is called. How you how you find out? Oh, how you find hey, all these hey, videos? I, I, I can't I, find I, these hey, videos. I'm, I'm I'm finding them, bro. I'm I'm finding them, bro. I, I I got you right here. This uh this one right here is called Speed Trap. Uh, July 2019. Uh, let's see what this one's about. Well, you know I give. Police demos, DOT demos, okay. fire department stuff, just stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's mostly just, just, you know, and I'm just a cool guy, you know? Yeah, well, it seems like it. We just met, but it seems like it, so right. we'll have to check out your channel. Oh. Uh, I just need a couple of signatures down yes, here. Like sir. I said, I didn't write you anything. I used the lowest speed I had you here. That's the lowest I can show it at, so it won't affect you at all. Okay. I just need a couple of signatures on the bottom there where I got the X circle. And then I will help you get back in the traffic and on down to Pennsylvania. So hold on, right quick. You up in PA, and this man give you a he gave you a speeding a, a low. It still doesn't matter if it was a high speeding ticket or a low speeding ticket. It's a speeding ticket, so that's still gonna did that did that affect you in any kind of way? Actually, actually, uh, it did. Uh, a lot of people said it was because yeah, a warning. Is also classified as a legal violation, but it did. And uh, in fact, I had got a two of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got I got a two of one hundred and sixty-eight. You know, but it, it all depends on how how they word it. You know, mm-hmm. 
and uh, that that that's very important on how they word it. But uh, no, it, it did. Now you know what? It, 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 but, oh, uh, go go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, no, I, you know, I was talking to a driver about about a couple of months ago, uh, last year, a couple of months last year, yeah, and he was asking me that he got a, he, well, he didn't get a ticket, he got a warning, and it was a warning from a city cop, like, you know, uh, he was just giving him a warning, you know, it wasn't a speeding warning or nothing like that. So I went on Facebook and I was like, well, what's the difference between a warning and a ticket? And, you know, all these trucker lawyers try to come up with something and they always try to be like, well, a warning, a warning is the same as a ticket. I'm like, well, number one, it wasn't written as a ticket. It was just written as a warning. So. How how is that going to affect uh, the guy's you know score? Now it, now I understand if it was written from a DOT officer, then that's different. But this was just written from you know uh, a hit town sheriff deputy cop or whatever, and and that was just it. You know, he showed me the warning. It was just saying that hey, you know, this is just warning. Got to got to y'all going about your business. So, you know, I put, like I said, I put it in the Facebook group and all these trucker, these trucker lawyers start popping up everywhere over here talking about, well, it's, uh, it, it's still going to affect your, and I'm like, it, it's not, it's not, but you know, Hey, everybody got assholes and you know what they say about assholes, right? We, we all got, we yeah, all got yeah. one. We all, we, we all got one. You know, like I say, uh, it is, uh, uh, it is how they word it, you know, uh, because even city cops now uh, are being on certain type of DOT levels on us. It could be a level one. Some of them could be do a level two. Level. Some of them could just do paperwork, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is, it is how they uh, word it because I did. Now, I did get stopped by a city cop, gave me a uh, warning on some lights, but it was like a regular DOT office that that writing it up. So I did get some lights violations. Okay. But my pig tail came a little. Okay. You know, so it is. Uh, they basing so, basing, basing so but, hard that, that the pig tail came off the tractor. I mean, came <laughs> off the trailer. Man, yeah, it came <laughs> off, man. It came off, man. I didn't push it all the way in there, man. I could get five releases kind of, you know. <laughs> Vib vibrated so hard yeah. it, it vibrate that motherfucker out of the out of the hole. <laughs> Basin man, let me uh, yeah, let me let yeah, me ask yeah. you this right quick. Do you do you think do you think the professionality of the of the truck driver diminished over the years? You and you you know you've been in the game for twenty years, but do you think it? Do you think the truck driver has diminished over the years? Yeah, and I think it's gonna. I mean, I'm kind of saving a couple of uh, people that uh, actually is close to me, but they was going to, I would classify them as being part of the, <laughs> the percentage that would diminish. But, but now they said to me, uh, man, you are a stand up guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And these are guys I've been knowing for years, you know, but sometimes people can push a button. It can set you off, but they said that, uh, man, you 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 got to be inspiring a lot of people. Because I've been knowing you for a long time now, you are inspiring me. Because it's, it's it's a lot of hate out here still, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I don't let it bother. Me. And a lot of people see that and they respect that. So it is what it is, you know. You just try to keep doing you and try not to let people get you out of your character. And, and you just never know who you inspire to do the same Man, thing. Man, listen, I, I just got finished doing the podcast before I called you. And this uh this uh truck driver, uh shout out to Jarvis Jones, man, because he's the one that be giving me all of the uh all of the uh, news and shit like that. This uh this guy, yeah. this guy, uh looked like he's from Kansas City, but uh this guy seen uh, a man's wife, a man's wife, and and him, but the the lady fell. All right, 
He went over there to try to help the lady as far as giving her CPR. Now she was she was like dying, like literally dying. The dude, her husband, okay. looked at this black man and told him to get the elf away from his from his wife in her. Now you can't you you can't tell me that that racism still don't exist. And I was talking oh, I, I yeah, was talking about how close that it how close that it exists here in the trucking field too because for anybody that got CBs they they know that some some of these some of these redneck drivers they 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 they, they ruthless with the mouth. Well, I had a uh experience that ever since then I haven't had a CB in over what, 10 12 years because you know when you first coming into it you know you you know the environment that I'm from you know all of the streets and got the high temperature I mean high temper mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, coming through Missouri in the uh, Trevor Radio and uh I just was asking for some direction. And then somebody got on there and said, Oh, here go another, you know, nigger, you know, mm -hmm. you know, just being and I'm you know, and me, young, crazy at the time, I just blew off at the handle, man. I told him what kind of truck I was in, I'm pulling the truck stop, circling around looking for <laughs> I, I, it just got the best of me. It just took over me, you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> because you know, never I never heard nobody actually call that to, you know, say that, you know, right. to me. Right? You know, I hear about having other people, but when it happened to you, things a little different. Right. And, it uh, hits it, and, it, it hits a little bit harder when it happens to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little different, you know. I get happened to my brother. I said, oh, well, man, you know, I was told those words, stick the stones and break your bones, words ever. Right. Man, that was, that, was, that was a little different right there, you know. <laughs> Because I got on there just to ask for direction. Mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, another brother got on there and said, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, young man, and I, you know, I cussed him out. You know, I thought he was gonna say something. I don't, I don't know, man. I was just going crazy on him. Back, I don't even think I let the mic go. I'm still talking. <laughs> Everybody trying to <laughs> so cut, trying to cut you, to trying go. to cut you off so they can, so they can yeah. calm down, brother man. Like, calm down." <laughs> And then you know I got into a fight, so then, then I just, I just, I just took it out, you know. Uh, back, I just put mine in here uh, three weeks ago, but it ain't hooked up. It just, it just, that just so I can look at it every once in a while. I'm scared to turn it off, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, hey, you know, hey, it is, it is, it is, it is what it is, so, man. Uh, you know, I got, uh, you know, some people are just not gonna accept change and you just got to deal with it, you know. Uh, All right. Ain't no sense of, you know, hurting yourself or going to prison behind something that, you know, you're going to be in there thinking about it. Like, man, you know what? I could be out there and listen to my 2015. Listen, I'm not instead, here. I got instead, of listen, in instead of listening to somebody bigotry on a motherfucking radio. Man, Basin, man, thank you yeah. for, man, listen. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. I've been trying to get at you for like a good, good minute since man. I uh since I ran up into you up in uh Tennessee, man. I hope to I, I, I hope I hope to uh run back into you again, man, because I like to do a meetup with you, man. But hey, before I get up out of here, man, uh what advice would you would you give a male or a female coming into this industry? I mean the the money is good. That is true. The money is good, but you got to have knowledge on it because it's, it's not good money if you don't have knowledge because they can take it right back from you. So okay. Get your knowledge uh, and experience, and you're going to always have uh, – gonna always be financial state that's what's up man that's what's up yeah. now let me ask you this now since you got all the uh, since you got all that in your truck man hold on right quick i got i gotta play this video right quick right quick yeah. you, you you got them on a, you got them on the outside you got them on the inside man <laughs> let me ask you this man let me ask you this man how <laughs> 
<laughs> you you can't possibly be over the road, man. You you are are you an over the road driver? Yeah, you you yeah. are a over the road driver. Oh yeah, brother. I'm over the road. Brother man, man. I'm over the road. That's what's blowing, brother man, all, that's what's blowing my all, ass, all man. them I feel and make movies. Brother man, and, all, uh, all, all 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 them uh, man, all okay. that bump in the back, man. How do you sleep? I, I see you got like a little What's that? A little five inch, five inch bunk right there. What that? That right there uh, actually is is slides into the enclosure. Oh, oh okay. So you can uh, so you can actually pull well, it all the way out. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting some custom made mattresses. Uh, they probably should be ready by now. Oh, okay. That mattress that's on there now, I just. Built that because it was hard, hard sleeping on that thing. You I, know, I, I would imagine. I would imagine. I, I would imagine how hard it is. I think I said when I met up with you, man. I, I think I said the only the thing that's missing is a stripper pole. And your ass told me you was like, "Yo, bro, I got that too." <laughs> every every bill, brother. Every. Bill got a pole in it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Every bill got a pole in it, man. Ooh, yeah. man. I, I got another video that's pretty did pretty good over there by in Louisiana, man. I just people know me, man, and I pulled in this truck stop was fueling. They say I know there's two girls on the pole dancing in my truck. I, I told everybody, man, look, I do not know these girls. They just hopped in my truck and started Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You got, you got to, on hold phone. on, bro. Hold on, bro. You you got a video of that? Huh? You, you don't have a. Oh, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was probably about 100,000 people. Oh, uh, wait, so got, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, hold I, on. Is that, is that about no a, I, I don't is know. Is that about a year ago? I, hold on right quick. Let me see. Two months, three months. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's been about a year ago. All right, so ago. let me see. About a year ago, five, okay, let me, let me scroll down, scroll down. Uh, nine months, okay, so a year ago. So you said it had about, you said it had about, what, about 800, 800 views at the time? All right, so I got. No, no, about, about 80,000. Uh, 80,000? I don't know how much you got now. Hold on, wait a minute. All right, so New Orleans. Jackson, Mississippi, Border Patrol, uh, Knoxville. Hey, you you going to teach me how to? I don't even know how to do all that. What you doing, bro? I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to find it, but it's it but probably might be a little bit more. Let me see. Okay, that Baltimore police one got 12k. Uh, uh, fuck. You, where were you? Where were you when you say Louisiana? I was over there. By, uh, yeah, I was over there uh, outside of the Baton Rouge. Uh, Baton Rouge. Uh, it is not that very long. I don't think. Yeah, it wasn't very long, but that was it. And it had that spur the moment I recorded it, and yeah, that was it. Man, well, I, so it I probably ain't no more. That may that may be one of the shortest ones I ever. Well, done. this one I I, <laughs> I was, see the new I was blown away. I see the New Orleans joint. You got nine hundred and nine one. I mean nine hundred and one views on that. But I I can't uh making people smile. Some entertainment. Louisville, Kentucky, grown and sexy. Well, well, you know what, you know what, this probably was yeah, it was over a year ago. This was when I think the wall was folded. That's when I had the folding wall. The top wall was folding. Oh, okay. Under, under my okay. sound system. So okay. it, it might have been maybe two years ago. Okay. But I can, um, the way I find my videos is I had to go to some of these groups that I'm in <laughs> and I'm punching my name. <laughs> you know, it, 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 you know, certain, you know, because I'm in like, I'm actually, I'm actually in like 300 groups on the internet. Oh, okay. I mean, they just add me in there on a on a regular basis, but certain groups I don't, you know, out of respect, I don't post certain right. things. So I can find that video because you know I know what group to go in and look for. Okay, you know, but it but it takes me a, week, a minute to find it. Right now, as we talking, I'm scrapping the load down. Mm -hmm. 
you <laughs> now let me ask you this. Let me let me okay, ask you this, boy. Basin. Before we get boy. on up out of here, man, let me ask you this right quick. How can how how can the people find you, man? How can they link up with you? I got uh, of course, uh, of course, you know, on YouTube, you know, they definitely could find you at uh, Basin Semi on YouTube. So definitely go and subscribe and hit that bell. When you hit that bell, you make sure you hit that all button so you can get all of his content. Where where can they find you on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, it's John Hall on Facebook. And my name is Tom. So uh, you might have to, when you punch in John Hall, you get searched. Oh, okay. And you're going to show all the John Halls. Just go where it says see all. Okay. When you say see all, then you go to the city. And, it, and that's how you filter. Oh, me out. okay, okay. And you can put in uh, Houston. Texas, and what about uh? And it should pop up. And what there. about Instagram? It's it should be based in Instagram. Ba- based in semi on Instagram, Instagram, right? No, no, no. Based in, uh, that that's my name on Instagram is old school. That's what they call. Them. But on on Instagram is O L D underscore O L D school spell with underscore. a K S S K O O L one hundred. S K O O L one hundred. Oh, wait a minute. Cus- where it says custom yep. trucks. Yeah, there, there That's you go. Me. And I'm hitting. I'm going to hit that follow button. So you guys make sure y'all follow him. Uh, make sure you guys follow him right quick. Uh, it says uh, you met up with the hawk. Look at that right. Th- oh. Yeah. <laughs> What is that? A lot of guys follow me, man. A lot of guys follow me. Hold on, you got a hold on, you got a video <laughs> that you just said that you met up with the hawk. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Uh it's not too far. I, I, I said the main the, the the full clip would be on my YouTube. Page. Hold on right quick. Now you know you, you only can put so much on Instagram. They give you sixty six seconds. Hold on, right quick. I'm I, I I'm trying to find it. Uh, it it just said it it just said you you just uh that you just met up with the hawk, and I I had it too. It says let's see right here. Yeah, here it is. Base here it is. Base and semi meets the hawk. Hold on, right quick. Yeah. And then, uh, stealth, and then I got two Crossfire XS four Ks. <laughs> Uh, 30 Maxwell capacitors, four AGM batteries, and uh, oh, 270 Singer Alt. Wow. <laughs> yeah. A lot of welding cable and a whole bunch of door speakers. And a, a whole bunch, bunch of door, door speakers. Right where, hold on, where's the... <laughs> Is that where oh, where man. where is it? So, oh, oh man, okay, here we go. That is in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. That's all of base and needed, just a little bit. Man. That's we'll that's be- the car right there. <laughs> yeah, that car, yeah, man. Yeah. That's so good. That really? get down, man. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Guess what, John? Think this is gonna be my first tap out. Y'all see this? Movie? Oh man. Uh uh-uh. uh. The hope. All right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to stop it because I don't want to play it too much because you know how YouTube is, man. YouTube get on me and demonetize my shit, man. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah. uh, <laughs> but right, uh, right. I see you brought I see you brought his ass in your truck. So let me see. No, it was the base hurt me or the air from the cold air. Boy, I felt man, I was about to go norm in there, man. Uh, that, that's pretty good, man. Hey, <laughs> so you met up with this cat in uh, Columbus, Ohio, huh? Yeah, I, sometimes I post when I have time, then I stop in these cities, and uh, we just meet up, man. At the first moment, sometimes a lot of people show up, man, and. Uh, we just have a little nice little, little get that's, together, you know. A lot of people follow me, then. a lot of people. That's that's what's up, man. Definitely, like I said, I'm I'm following yeah. you on uh, I'm 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 with you on uh, I'm about to hit you up in Facebook in a minute. You got Instagram? Yeah, I got too? Instagram, man. Lockout men. That's what's up. I got I, I I'm following you. You you'll see me when you come in, um. Man, listen. Okay. So thank. Okay, yeah, I probably. Yeah, back, I bro. appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for showing up on the show, man. I really do appreciate that, man. Let me uh, 
Let me give you a round of applause right quick. Thanks for showing up and showing out, brother, man. Uh, before you go, man, yeah, let, let uh, before you go, everything from the amps to the radio to the speakers, what all you got in there, man? Uh, I got right now, I got uh, 24, 6.5 uh, BFL golf ball. Mm. And uh, that uh, each uh, amplifier I got to run my highs, it is 5.4 BFL. Mm. One of those amps running eight of those golf balls. Mm. That's, it. That's how I got the uh, 24. For my subs, I got the XR uh, American base mm -hmm. on. If you look at my system, each row is sitting on 3K. So I got 3K. I got three of those 3K up under my, 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 actually my bed, my bunk, whatever you want to call it. So I got six samples and 1212 12, mm. and 24, 16. What's the. That those are in the side box. When when I hit the side, when I when I open the side box, I got the rest of them in there. And I'm saying to reach out two hundred yards. What's what's what's, what's the what's what's the radio you got in there? What's what's the sound system you got in there? Sony. I got a I got a Sony uh, head unit, mm -hmm. and I got American bass preamp in there. Well, EQ. All all this power right now, right now, just right now, just sitting on stock electrical, man. I'm running. That's why most of my demos is done with the truck off, because I, I actually that much power you will fry your alternator. I, I was just about to, I already. was just about to ask you that. All this fucking power, where, where is it coming from, man? Where, where you got all this power coming from? It's co yeah, it's coming from my stock, but it's not it's, it's not good to run it. With, I mean, have your system going. Uh, once your voltage drop below twelve, your amplifiers actually just start burning. Oh, okay. You know, they start smoke. You, know, you smell them. So that's that's what I got to get next. So I mean, me and Bob, the owner of American Base, um, the owner of American Base, and I, we're pretty cool. So if you guys are interested in American Base products. Y'all can hit me up on Facebook. I don't need any of the money. I'm not trying to get none of the money, but I get some good deals. He can ship it directly from his warehouse. All right. So you said American base. American. American. Yes. American base. American base. Uh. All right. So, you, okay. American base subwoofers, right? That's this, uh, that's this spot right here. Yeah, if you guys could go to the, uh, you guys could type in uh, American Base uh, USA dot com and uh, tell them and yeah. tell them uh, tell them Base and Semi sent you. Tell them Lockout Men sent you. All right, show this man some love. Show this man there some love. Y'all want to get at him? Uh, his email is up here at the top and the phone number four four. Wait, four four zero. Wait a minute, four four zero. That's yep. an Ohio number. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ohio. Okay, Ohio. okay. Soul in Ohio in the house. Okay. Let me give you an. There you go. Four for hoes. That's what's up. Two one six over here, brother man. Two one six. Um. All right, uh, Basin Semi man. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and get back at it, man. Thank you very much for coming on and uh and and chopping it up with me tonight, man. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to uh. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about Basin Semi, definitely go to his YouTube page. Definitely go to his Instagram page. I would say go to his Facebook page, but he probably might have, you know, like like family or something like that. I'll if once you follow him, no, once no, no, once no. once. Oh, go ahead. No, uh, I mean uh, that's where I'm most popular, at, but I'm going to start on YouTube. I'm about at thirty six. Thousand followers on Facebook. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hey, hey, there you go, there you go. He says you can come to his uh, yeah. come to his uh, Facebook page. 
All right, y'all. So if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Man. This is my man, Basin Semi. Much love. Much love. Much, Much love. love. And we are out of here. Y'all take it easy. I'll come back at you guys with another video. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, podcast interview, which will be coming up later. All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Base and Semi, thanks, man. I really do appreciate you, bro. Hey, no problem, bro. Good luck. Wow. Keep doing oh, what you're you doing, keep, bro. Oh, no. You keep doing what you're doing, bro. And we will get together, man. We will get together. You have a good night and try to and drive safe, bro. All right, brother. All right.